right guys, so we're doing some more uh, leaf cleanups, just kind of going over things. Uh, that first one we just got done doing, um, it had a lot more leaves than it did the first time, so it had some big piles. And one thing that kind of came to, came to mind was I see, one of the biggest complaints about the walker that I see uh, people talk about is uh, how it gets clogged real easily. And I, I, for me, I guess it's just been running it for a long time, but I just don't see that. So whenever you're talking about thick grass or a lot of leaves or something like that, um, you just have to go a little bit slower. And if you go a little bit slower, it just won't clog up. I mean, you can only have so big a chute down there underneath the deck. So uh, obviously the more you put in there at one time, the more likely it's gonna clog. I, I think of it kind of as a, uh, kind of like a garbage disposal. You can throw some food down there, but you can't throw a whole Thanksgiving turkey down there. It's gonna get clogged up. So just go a little bit slower and it just, it always works out fine for me. You know, we had some pretty decent piles on that one that were kind of all grouped together. And um, you know, you just kind of inch your way in there and don't just go at it full bore cause you'll be taking on too many leaves at one time and you'll get clogged up. Um, I think every, every bagging system would be this way, I would assume. So yeah, the one tip I can give you is just to slow down a little bit and kind of uh, just kind of ease into it and just kind of try to take a little bit at a time and you'll get through it a lot faster without getting clogged up. And the same goes for tall grass. Tall grass, you, I, just, I tend to just go a little bit slower so you're just not taking in as much grass at one time. And to me, that's the only clogging issues that I've ever had is when I just kind of go full bore at a big pile or a really thick grass, then yeah, it's gonna clog a little bit. Um, so yeah, just take it easy and you'll be good to go. So we're gonna knock this one out here. Um, it's really not, not bad at all. Um, I'm probably gonna mow this around three inches and uh, just suck up all the leaves. Probably go over it twice, make sure it really it looks really good. And then we'll be out of here. That's what you call perfect timing. The thing was pretty full, it was about ready to clog. All right, I'm gonna show you the one thing that I hate about the walkers that can really, really cause you some problems. I've heard of people's uh, walkers catching on fire, catching grass on fire, and it can become a real issue if you're not careful. So obviously grass comes up from the bottom. The blower is right down there, it sucks up. And when the hopper is closed, it goes right back in, right, right up here into the hopper. But the problem is, is when this thing gets clogged. When it gets clogged, it will clog from the back first on down. So if it's clogged all the way back to the blower, when you lift up the hopper, grass will fall out here and grass will fall out here. And there's your muffler. It will fall right onto the muffler. I've had a couple close calls. Uh, to where you can start to see a little bitty flame and you know all most of this stuff is really dry so if it starts to spread you're in trouble you're in big trouble so i'm usually really really careful when i'm doing fall when i'm doing fall cleanups leaf cleanups because because of that you know my my sensor on my hopper doesn't work so it, it broke years ago and i just never fixed it but since I've been operating them for a long time, I can kind of feel 
I kind of know when they're starting to get full. Sometimes I'll, I'll dump early just to make sure that it doesn't get clogged up because like I said, you do not want your stuff catching on fire on a job site at somebody's house. That's gonna be bad all the way around. So, all right guys, so that, that last job we just did um, had a lot more leaves in the backyard than I originally thought there were gonna be. Uh, so, you kind of seen me kind of, I was, I didn't have the blades going or nothing, but I was kind of just pushing the piles out to kind of spread them out a little bit. And then kind of what I was doing to, to kind of keep the mower from clogging is uh, kind of going uh, just halfway. I wasn't going, uh, I wasn't using the full 48 inches of the deck. I was only using about half and, and that way I'm just not sucking up as many leaves at one time and uh, Those leaves were actually kind of wet. So I didn't you know doing that doing it that way kind of kept it from clogging. So anyway uh, Got those two jobs done now. We're here back at the Back at the new shop, which I haven't done much with so I've had a couple questions on that So I thought I would kind of go over it. I'm really not hundred percent decided on how I'm going to put this shop together. Um, I do know the first thing I have to do is get electrical ran in here. So I can't insulate and I can't put up any walls in here until I get the electrical ran and do that. But what I'm thinking about doing is I'm thinking about, we talked about it earlier about taking this, uh, this section out. So this middle part here would be all wide open. And then uh, thinking about putting the mowers and stuff down there. You can see we got the skag in here right now. Um, and then on this side here, I'm thinking about building a wall right here. And then this right here will be my office. So that's kind of the kind of the initial plan. Uh, but I'm I'm kind of brainstorming just to kind of figure out what I want to do. I really didn't think I was going to struggle that bad with how I want to set this thing up, but. Uh, but I kind of am struggling because I want it to be I want it to be perfect and Obviously if I start putting walls in here and start doing things um, It's kind of gonna be like that for a long time because I'm not really gonna want to take it all back down and, and restructure everything so I want to make sure I utilize my space uh, to, the, to the best that it can be and I just it's just it's kind of a big decision but uh, anyway, guys, we're gonna end this video right here. If you guys have any suggestions on the shop, I'd love to hear them. Um, I definitely want this to be a really cool place uh, for me to run my business out of. So 
If you have any ideas, if you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comments below. Other than that, we're gonna see you guys later.